Okay, so for my setup, um, let me go ahead and show you guys because a lot of people have been asking me about it. What's up, guys? This is Ryan Johnson with MoneyBass.com, and today I have a quick video where I'm going to show you guys how I set up my Mega Live system, how I uh, connected it, the components I used, and also I will include some links in the descriptions for some of the components that I picked up to make this work out for me. Um, first off, I'd like to say thank you to all you guys that continue to support the channel. And please make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed on this channel. I will pretty much go over a lot of tips, um, a lot of things like that that will help you guys out on the water with hummingbird systems, how to scan, how to locate fish. And our tournament season is about to start up in less than a month. Well, about a month away at the beginning of February. So make sure you guys subscribe and follow me on our tournament journey for the season. But for today, let's go ahead and get into the video for my connections for my Mega Live system. So a lot of you guys that have connected yours, um, I see on the Facebook page and different areas like that in forums where a lot of guys are having problems with interference or maybe their, uh, their system isn't being recognized by the, uh, by the grass themselves. So there's some things that can help you out with that. One of the main things I would say, guys, is make sure you go through and read your instruction manual yourself because there's a lot of information out there where guys are taking some shortcuts and not really following those instructions by the questions that they're asking. And I know that's leading to a lot of problems for some guys um, not being able to use their system to the maximum uh, capacity that it is currently at. So um, in this video, make sure you watch it until the end. I will show you the... Um, the gauge wire, the setup that I use. Um, the, I'll put a link in the description for the switch that I use because you'll need a switch for the system. And also my setup as far as the batteries that I have and the Perco system that I have and how that is set up. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this video. If you have any questions or anything, make sure you leave those down in the comment section. And as always, hope this helps you out. Let's go ahead and take a look at this video. All right, so let's get things going with the install. I pretty much have everything laid out right here, so it'll be quick and easy for me to find it. But the first thing that we are going to do is take a look at the Mega Live Imaging Installation Guide. Let's go ahead and get this opened up, take a look at this, and get started. All right, so you do want to make sure you contact Hummingbird and get your system registered. And a video, I'll put that down in the description. If you have not completed your update, take a look at that video. That will help you out. All right, I ran the wire for the HydroWave underneath the bracket for the Mega Live in the groove of the trolling motor. It has a little bit of space in there and some wiggle room. So I may come back and put some tape on there just to protect it in case it does kind of move around a little bit just to give it a little extra layer of protection. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and get this tightened on. The installation for this part is pretty quick and easy. It's real simple. Um, just have to kind of work around at different angles to be able to get this tool to fit in here and get the bracket lined up helps to brace the trolling motor with a piece of wood or a block or something to prevent it from falling all the way down while you are tightening up the bracket so that's what I'm doing now all right had to make a quick run to Home Depot these are just some temporary crimps that I'm getting for right now but I'm going to order the actual ones that I need from Amazon so I went ahead and got a pack of those and let's run down here real quick so you can get the spools that are already spooled up um, 8 pound is what they recommend I mean 8 pound <laughs> eight, 8 gauge wire is what they recommend um, I mean I'm sorry 10 gauge so here's the 10 gauge wiring you can see it right there you can get 25 feet or 13 basically $14 and that is the 10 gauge but what I opted to do was to make sure that I don't have any issues with that come on down here and they have spools so I got these spools right here have a lot of different options 
But there we go. Quick trip to Home Depot. Pick up my wiring. Now let's head on back and get this finished. Okay, so for my setup, um, let me go ahead and show you guys because a lot of people have been asking me about it. But what I have is pretty much one AGM battery over here that pretty much powers everything on this boat except for the trolling motor. I have that connected to this Perkel switch. Um, pretty much whenever I come in, I would turn this off. Um, whenever it's on, I just switch it right here to that on position. And in the event that this battery right here that runs everything starts to run a little low from the live wells or from cranking or anything like that, I can put this on this emergency setting and that will um, tie it in to one of my trolling motor batteries to give me some extra power. I don't really have to use that very often. Um, there's been a few times where, I, where I've been out on the lake for an extended amount of time and I would go ahead and switch that purple switch over and start pulling power from there. But the other thing I wanted to show you guys was how I ran the wiring for the Mega Live system. So this is eight gauge wire right here. And I ran that directly to that power bank that goes through this Perco switch. So whenever I turn this off at the end of, end of the day, this will shut off power going to everything. So at that point, I don't have to worry about um, the switch or anything like that for the live system. I will be installing that anyways. Um, if you look in the instructions, it does tell you that to install a switch for that system. I don't have one right now, but like I said, I always turn this power off right here. And here is the um, the ground wire for the Mega Live system. So this is 8 gauge wire. And pretty much what I've done is I just wired that and it comes all the way through on that side panel of the boat. And let's just follow that down comes all the way into this compartment right here and I just need to finish um, putting this in place so it's not just hanging out like that and I ran that to this power bank so um, to this fuse panel the reason the light is off right now is because I had the, the boat uh, stored while I was having some work done on it and I took the fuse out so anytime that you do have power going to this and the fuse blows you will be able to see that red light come on and it will let you know which one of your fuses you need to replace. So this one right here is a 12 bank, a 12 bank um, fuse box. So you can actually connect all of your units and everything, everything to this, um, which will be very helpful if you ever run into any power issues or anything like that. It'll be quick to locate and you know quick to see what the issue is and be able to fix it. So that's pretty much it guys. I ran that eight, ga eight gauge wire all the way to this panel. This wire right here, right here this goes directly to the mega live system so that mega live system comes directly to this fuse box the fuse box runs directly back to the battery coming from that eight gauge wire and the reason i chose that eight gauge wire is so that i would would not lose any power there would be the least amount of resistance that i could get um, based on that gauge size of the wire and let me show you guys my my network box back here and there we go I have a five port uh, hub and right now I do not have enough port so I will eventually need to get another port so I can connect my additional unit on here because I have four units um, so the four units are connected of course I have the 360 and the mega live so I need one more port so I will have to tie two of these uh, five port hubs together and that way it will give me enough uh, network connections to uh you know to keep everything that i need on that network all right guys if you have any questions or anything about how i set this up please leave that down in the comment section everything has been working fine for me the way that i have this rigged up so i do not have any problems with uh, pretty much with power or any type of interference i do not have the choke installed on this either so that has not been an issue for me um, i will come back like i said and install the switch I will show you the link for this uh, this uh, fuse panel and also a link for the switch that I'll be connecting into the boat. So if you guys are interested in getting those, you'll be able to pull those up from Amazon. All right, and there is my Mega Live system. And I ran that straight up the shaft for the trolling motor. I put some tape on here and it comes with these clamps so that you can, um, pretty much keep that in place 
and it does not damage your wiring or anything like that and I do not run the wiring on any other cables I like using the um, the electrical tape because that pretty much keeps those nice and secure without cutting into the lines and pretty much just ran it all up through here and I left some space right here for whenever it um, moves around to give it some space and also in this area right here so that's it guys